My name is Frans Hoijmeijer. I'm an assistant professor at the chair of Technol environmental technology and design at the uh, University of Technology in Delft. And this is a chair where we look into sustainable urban development. That is our main core business. And I'm interested in the relationship between technology and urban design. Well, this is the first time I'm in Bangkok, so uh, I have to see uh, what it's like, but uh, Thai food is my favorite. It's sometimes too hot, but uh, I uh, especially like the vegetables. A water adaptive city means that you are able to live with the natural system. So there are conditions, natural conditions of water conditions, and there's our availability to technology. And I think in the, in the adaptive city, we have the succeeded in bringing those two together. So preparing those natural conditions, keeping their qualities and use them for our human systems. And the way to get to the adaptive city, I believe is working with the systems. So taking a systematic approach where you look at all the, the different relations of water relations, but also other uh, uh, say metabolis metabolism systems like waste or food and try to combine all of these in a new approach and for me it's not necessarily a, say a visual that that there's a specific end view or a vision that the adaptive city looks like but i think that it's especially in how it works so how it works as a construction is the main characteristic of a water adaptive city to say so create the synergy between all those systems. It's important that you have the specialists or the representatives of those systems to understand and, and know what intervention mean to those systems to bring them together. So the ideal dream team of building an adaptive city, a water adaptive city, is a team where all different disciplines are represented. So you need engineers, you need ecologists, you need urban designers, you need architects, you need landscape architects, and all those people need to, to find the, the common qualities and the common solutions to integrate the different systems into the water adaptive city. Uh, my role in, in trying to reach the water adaptive city is that I'm um, sort of balancing in between disciplines. So I'm trying to find the right connections between the different disciplines of engineering and urban design to find the right words and, and to exchange their knowledge into a design and find how they react to the different systems. And um, in my work, I teach students of urban design to work with technology as something that's also interesting to design with and not something that only supports design. So water management is something, it's a quality and it's something that can give your design meaning, can make new meaningful designs that are maybe different than, than the designs that are only based on aesthetics, for example. And uh, so I believe that in transferring my ideas and ways of thinking to the students might help for a future water adaptive city. Well, I think that design is something that can be of a great meaning, say cultural meaning, and it's not something that can be enjoyed visually. So designs that teach you something are say, more interesting than designs that give you only pleasure. And for uh, integrated design, so technology and urban design in one, it might be not very, um, it's, 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 it can be found in very small so it's very small things maybe that can also surprise you and it's, it can help people understand the city and especially when technology takes over and covers up all water systems etc then it well it's it's a pity because then it loses the meaning of uh, of uh, of uh, yeah of of the location so the 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 genius locus as it is called and urban design can help in say, bring better integration between human and needs and the natural conditions. Mm. So urban design, I think, is meaningful.